Hi everybody, my name is Larissa, intuitive numerologist, helping you discover your destiny through the power of numbers. Welcome to Goddess Giving. Today we are talking about all things numerology and the 2021 forecast and the specific energy that um, January is holding for all of you, how you can align to it and use this so that you can have a smoother, easier month. First of all, the 2021 year is super exciting. We just left 2020 and yes, so many things have happened in 2020 that we could not control. But when you really think about 2020, it was asking you to rebuild your lives. It was taking the core foundations of who you are, what you believe, how you live, what's important to you, and asking you to do the work to build a better, brighter future. Now, we can think about our government and our society. That's going to be going on for quite some time. But you did this on a personal scale. And in 2020, you were forced to focus on the details of your life. You were forced to look at the quality of your life versus the quantity. You know, um, you were forced to examine the people in your life, your income, how you are living, what you're eating, what you're doing for health and wellness. It was asking you to set up a structure and build this solid foundation for who you want to be. And I'm talking who you want to be for the next five years. So you probably say, well, maybe I didn't do that, but you did. Whether you know it or not, you really rebuilt yourself. I know I did because everything that I was doing was stripped away and I had to restart. Um, my business had to take a complete, you know, 180, 360, whatever you want to call it. And I had to find new ways of connecting with people. Um, the way you had uh, parties at your house or get togethers, everything changed for you. And the question is, did you do the work to improve you? Not the world, but you. Because peace and love and your joy starts with you. So that is what 2020 uh, was for us. And I like to think of three lessons that you learned in 2020. As a matter of fact, I challenge you to write it out. I'd love for you to take three major lessons that you've learned. What did I learn in 2020? How did I improve in 2020? What did I start new in 2020? And see how you can carry this over into 2021. We can't, we can't forget what we went through. We need to take the valuable lessons that we learned and bring them into 2021. 2021 is going to be great change. 2021 is going to give you the sense of freedom that you crave. It's going to provide a new adventure in your life. It is a great year to start new habits, new hobbies, new mindset, even new opportunities for income and uh, communication and collaboration and communities. It is challenging you to do you in a new way. It's challenging you to look at your life and say, how can you be a better, newer, more improved version of who you are? And this change is progress. It's forward moving progress. So you can't stay the same. I want you to understand that change is the theme. And if you do not align to this, you're going to have a difficult time because the changes will come but you'll feel like you have no control. You'll feel like you have no say in what changes actually happen. So taking this lesson and applying it to 2021 is so important because if I'm saying to you, you have to change, I need you to look at the four corners of your life, the four foundations, the, the pillars of who you are, your, your founding you know, principles and look at them and say, how can I improve my health and wellness? How can I improve my uh, freedom and hobbies and interests? How can I improve my intimacy and my friendships and my love life and my connection to um, the ability to express and be more loving? How can I improve my finances? The, you have to look at all the areas because this is important this year for you to expand on who you are. It's like perfecting what has already been. It's just, you know, fine tuning 
who you are. So think of that. And as we move into January, January has a universal energy of six, and that is the energy of love. Now, I say this all the time. I actually, I think I just want to make it a t-shirt at this point. And I tell my children to choose love. I say be love because you cannot get what you do not possess. If you want more love in your life, you have to be more loving. And I think over this year of 2020, I've learned the greatest lesson is that love is the most important thing. You know, the money, the cars, uh, you know, all the why, the trips, the pocketbooks, all the material possessions, they can't replace that connection and that quality of loving relationships that we crave. You need friends in your life. You need a support system. You need a community. You need a partner. You're not meant to not give love. You need to establish that if you are craving more loving relationships, it starts with you. Love starts with you. And in January, you're looking at being responsible for what you have in your life and taking responsibility for what you don't have. Stop placing blame, I'm not saying you are, but we can no longer say, well, this didn't happen, I didn't get that promotion, this person hurt my feelings, this person insulted me. We can't do that anymore. You have to look in the mirror and say, what was my role, what was my part? How can I be responsible for this? And if you're not happy, you have to change and make new habits to progress yourself forward. This is the year. 12 months of progressing you, 12 months of expanding you, 12 months of being a communicative, creative, is that even a word? A communicating, a person who can communicate their wants, needs, and desires. And I am so excited because for me, my goal is expanding my reach in the sense of who I speak to, who I connect with, how I get my message out there. And the media and social media is such a great tool. So start thinking, how can you use social media to connect with people all over the world? Because honestly, I don't think I would have survived 2020 without this tool. This tool, these social platforms have saved my life. It has expanded me, it's taught me so much, and I have developed such amazing friendships, connections, and a tribe of amazing women who are on a spiritual journey, and I get to do life with all of you. And that, that fills my soul. And January, I would love for you to think about what is it that I do in my life that I love and how can I do more of that and what is it in my life that I should do less of <laughs> that I don't like and I should improve. You see, January is the start of the entire year. It's the first month. It sets this tone. And if you don't set up your own boundaries for how you want to be loved, how you want to express love, self-worth, self-acceptance, um, filling up your love cup, your love tank, your spirit tank, taking time to heal your mind, body, and soul and understanding that it's all of you, then how do you expect all the other months to change you for progress? So this is a very critical month and it needs to be done right. You need to focus on your responsibility to the home, which is everything that you are, everything that you love, and everyone that is important to you, and create a sense of harmony, balance, and nurturing environment within the home. And if you are in a space where your physical space does not feel that way or does not bring you joy where you feel it's cluttered or chaotic which it might be and that's okay that's a great place to start because our chaos on our physical world is a, is a reflection of the chaos in your inner mind so if we can improve our physical environment 
it will support our mental and emotional environment and stability as well. So focus on the areas in your home that need to be tackled and make your home a place that makes you feel good, that gives the energy of love, that makes you feel that you are loving the people in it. And it, it creates this energy of openness that allows love in and love out. That's your responsibility. And I know that in an in a ideal world, somebody could come in and do this for you. But January, the responsibility will fall on your shoulders. Okay? So reevaluate your home, your physical home, your mental home, and your like material home. And when I say physical home, I mean the body. And start making the changes necessary to feel your best and find your love and your joy and your peace. Thank you, um, and feel free to subscribe to this channel. And each month I will be doing the forecast and uh, giving you more spiritual guidance along the way. So make sure you subscribe, and you can check out my links down below for all my socials. Have a great January.